Hello everyone, my name is Zoram, and today I'm going to be showing off the player side of uh, cosplay um, races, and it's for version 2.23.723, um, and hopefully subsequent versions. Um, now there's going to be two different tutorials, right? There's going to be a player side and an admin side. I'm going to have the admin side linked in the description. If you're an admin, uh, it's a good idea to go ahead and watch both. Um, <clears throat> and that's just because I have a lot to cover. So anyways, uh, the admin has a uh, setting that they can do to where when you spawn in, you will have an option to, well, first customize your character, uh, and then... And this is for the first time and then it'll make you select your race now this is um this is something that the admin uh can or can can set up if they so please so uh this will have all the description of your race so the race kind of dictates um things like your base stat multipliers your uh base drag weight um, let's see, body customization limits, all this stuff right here that is listed, uh, and you can take your time to kind of look through it. Um, if there's nothing listed under a certain thing, that means everything is normal, and there's no customizations there. So, um, gotta turn the music down a little bit. Uh, and so... Once you've found the race that you want to be, um, they'll be listed down here. You'll hit become that race. Uh, this one's a little bit long, so it kind of <laughs> goes over, but that's okay. And then uh, the admin also has an option to make this appear afterwards, in which case you can uh, go through and select uh, your optional parts. And let's see what we have. Um, so. Firstly, let me show you how whitelisted part parts work. Whitelisted parts are essentially just parts that you can have or you cannot have. Um, so they, well, they're just parts that are whitelisted. So you can have them, but you don't have to have them. So I can go ahead and attach all of these if I want to, or I can attach none of them. And it's really just up to me. Um, now let's move on to um, required parts. So say like on this race we want to require one of the horns but um, but we don't really care um, uh, we don't really care about which one of the horns that we can have. Uh, and that is ha what this little lock symbol is. This lock symbol is a required part. Now if now you might say, oh, what's that number? That is the required group. If something is in the same required group, it'll require you to have at least one part that is in that group. So say if I try and unselect this one here, it won't let me because currently it's the only one in the number one group. But if I select these, now I can deselect those. But then if I try and deselect that, it'll default back to me having this. So you, can, you have to have at least one um, of these parts that are in the same group of one, right? Um, and that's the same for all groups. So, two, uh, let's do that one. Actually, they look better together, so I'll do both. Um, and, uh, another thing that you want to check out is under the selected category, there are controls here. I highly recommend you read over these controls. For instance, if I go to head bits and I say I like this coloring, I can just copy, paste it over, quick and easy. Um, so that is the, uh, the parts there. Then we'll go over next to these customizations. Now, this is where you can select um, your different main body customizations. So this is for your head hair. Say if you want hair um, to not grow or to hide completely. Um, 
you can do so. Um, you can also change your style here if you want. Uh, if you want to set your hair's color, you have to hit this set color button. Once you hit that, now you can control these down here. And that lets you set your hair color. Right? There you go. Um, you also can set your player scale here. Um, I'm gonna leave mine at 0.8 because 0.5 is tiny. Um, and a lot, there are some parts in here that have abilities. Um, and how you access those abilities are this, it, it's this right here. Um, so you can choose what modifier you want. Say if you want R plus shift or R plus control. Um, and then you'll, if you want to change the actual key, you click here and then type whatever key you want. So like T, A, W, it doesn't matter. I'm going to leave it on R. And right here, you can show or hide your implant. Now, it might be a good idea for me to go ahead and put myself on an admin race. So I'm going to do that really quick. Now I should be able to do anything. So, um, for instance, I will go ahead and show off these because those are climbing claws. Uh, so, <laughs> any parts with abilities uh, will have a little check mark. And if you hover over it, it'll tell you not only that it is functional, but it'll tell you what they can do. So, this part allows you to climb walls and ceilings, or this part allows you to toggle blades to fight with, or this part lets you toggle blades to fight with so these two are essentially the same thing with different visuals um lets you pick up creatures with your right hand lets you pick up creatures, you know so again to toggle it it's whatever key you set now i'm gonna leave it let's put it on middle mouse button so if i hit middle mouse button it brings up a menu now this menu is brought up if you have two or more toggleable abilities if you only have one it'll just toggle it um, in the future, I am looking towards uh, you being able to set as many customizations as you want, um, like essentially binding a key to um, individual abilities. Um, but anyways, so we will toggle my climbing claws and then now I can climb. Um, Alright, so... Now let's go back into here, uh, and we can show the implant. I don't think the implant thing actually shows in this menu, do be warned of that. However, it does show in game. As you can see, my implant is right there. Um, let's put my player scale back to one, and hair length a little bit less. Um, so yeah. Next, we will move on to the skin textures. Um, actually, before we move on, we're going to move on to uh, another bit of the parts. So, there are a lot of parts, and you're just kind of going to have to learn which parts are like this and which parts aren't. But for parts that are weight painted to the body, I'm thinking about putting a warning somewhere. Um, there are parts that are weight painted to the body, like say the wolf head. Let's go ahead and hide the hair so we can see it a bit better. Um, and as you can see, when you rotate it, it does not rotate very well. And that is because it is weight painted to the body. For these parts that are, there are, that are weight painted to the body, the best option is to not change these at all, period. And instead go and change your bone sizes here if you want to customize it so say you want a really wide head there you go um that is the much better option as it keeps everything synced up as soon as you edit any of these even slightly it'll desync um but i still allow it because if you know what you're doing sometimes you can change it very very slightly to have it fit what you want 
Um, so anyways, now we will continue on with the body customizations thing. We can now select different skins. So say we want scales with this skin. There you go. Say we want simple fur, equus fur, cheetah fur. Um, and let's go ahead and edit some of the body values. Actually, speaking of body values, um, if you head over to my Discord, um, when you spawn in and you have this skin here, you can see this is obviously not a normal skin color. Um, your skin will be desaturated. Don't freak out. That's normal. You just need to go to a mirror and fix your skin color. Um, and you can get... I'm pretty good at getting a good skin color, but you can go to my Discord and there is um there is a channel called Resources. In there, there are two different screenshots that you can choose from that have a couple skin values. If you have trouble getting a good skin color, you can go and just pull those values and plug them into these numbers here. Um and that'll, you know, help you get some skin color. Um, let's see. Yeah, so on top of that, um, real quick before we move on, I will go over the brightness or resolution. Um, brightness is just for the brightness inside this editor, and unfortunately it just doesn't do a whole lot, um, unless it's like nighttime. Mm -hmm. And now resolution, this is important. If your preview like cuts off at about midway down here and then kind of just fades into pixel hell, um, adjust your resolution. Likely put it just slightly lower and keep lowering it until it's gone. And that should fix that weird fade. Um, or if your PC can handle it, and it doesn't get that weird fading thing. You can put your resolution all the way up, and it looks great. Um, and, you know, this, not so much. But anyways, uh, so that should cover that. Uh, the next thing that we will cover in the body customization section is the... Um, the gender thing. So, when you hit this gender thing uh you can switch your gender or just on the fly mm -hmm. but it'll ask you are you sure because you're going to lose all your parts and let's go ahead and hit yes and now i'm a different gender right um but let's say i want to get all my parts back a quick and easy way to get all my parts back is to go to the all parts and look up raptor or was it dynon uh feather here we are so i can stick all those back on copy paste and then i can go to the heads and do a raptor and then let's say i want to go back and customize something i can put used on there and it'll show me all the parts that i have currently on uh just make sure and use these filters because they are super super helpful um, so next on the docket, um, something that I want to mention is that I have enabled even more customization on, uh, the body skin texture. So if you go to wet slash detail, which is a new, uh, thing, you can actually control the wetness or the detail. So... Um, this right here is the detail, I believe, and as you can see, it's like super defined and stuff, but you can kind of flatten that out if you want. And then this is the wetness, so you can see it's very reflective, and now it's really matte. Um, uh, but yeah, and uh, there are some different skins, and they will be labeled as to what they do um, that, that do the same thing. So, let's go ahead and do simple for, um, anyways, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one, um, 
actually real quick but right before we move on to bone customizations uh i want to tell you something about the show implant thingy so you will notice when you have no implant um and you open your inventory you don't see any of the sparkle thing but you'll see even though i have my implant on and activated it's still not showing the sparkle thing when you open your inventory that's just because you need to respawn so if i do cheat hurt me one zero and if i go ahead and respawn with my implant enabled now when i access my inventory now i see the little uh, particle effects coming from my implant um but again if you don't have it uh then yeah just respawn and that'll fix that um and we will move on to the body uh or sorry bone customization thing now the bone customization nine times out of ten you're not going to want to edit the x because um let's see if i can show off one that really breaks it uh hands the x is not really meant to be tampered with um and these values are a bit nuts so hopefully your server presider uh server um admin um limits these a bit more but uh i suggest a uh, slight modifications uh slight looks much much better than extreme this guy looking a little bit more like a rex and you can do that for uh, loads and loads of parts here. Now let's say you edit your leg length, right? Uh, let's do like two. Two. Not editing it very well. Let's see. I forgot what the best way oh, hips works so we'll put the hips up like that um put that up like that there we go super long legs right maybe it won't make it that long you'll notice that your character now does this weird kind of i i gotta go shit look so we're going to fix that by something in the bone customizations right and this works too if your legs are short so and that's what this body height slider is. If you put this up, let's say put it at one, save, you'll see it kind of pulls them up. And now it looks pretty normal. Yes, they bob up and down. There's no real way to fix that. That's just Ark's weird um, IK. And then let's say we'll make them short. Um five that right um and then you'll see that now because i have the same height i'm floating however if i go back move this down a little bit too low and this is just something you'll have to play with little bit too low there we go that's pretty good but yeah um so that's how you do that and now we will move on to the armor customizations um so go ahead and give myself some armor as you can see you can see all of the armor now you could either just go to your emotes and hide hat or if you wanted to always hide your armor so you don't have to keep doing that every time you log in you can just like deselect your hat and say you want to show off those tatas so you hide your chest and there you go you can do that um be wary this is one of the things that uh admins can disable you from doing uh for obvious reasons so if these are grayed out and you can't click them that's why 
Um, and then you can move on to customizing your underwear material. So every time you change your armor uh, material, it keeps the colors that it had before. So if you want it to have the colors that it shows on the preview, you have to set to default colors and then it'll pull those colors through. And you can go ahead and customize here. Um, there's quite a few options. Um, but yeah, you should be able to set them individually too. Um, but anyways, um, now we will show off the hat height preview, right? So, um, I hat two one zeros. Ooh, got a little bit of lag there. Hide hat alt, maybe? No, I'm just stupid. I don't remember the spawn code for the hunter hat. Um, so we're going to go in here. Okay, that should show our hat now. Um, yeah, it does. Right, so... We go in here, and if you want to change your hat height, all you do is hit this button here, show hat in preview, and, oh, that's interesting, just putting it down there. Uh, I think this is one hat where that doesn't work. There are some hats that don't work because they're not set up correctly. Uh, let me think. I believe the hide hat would work. Hide. Helmet? There we go. Yeah, that one works. So, show hat in preview. There we are. And you can set your hat height. So, this is a little bit higher than normal but it should look a lot better. There we go. Perfect. So now when my guy wears a helmet, it should look okay. A little silly, but you know, it's fine. Especially if you're wearing something like a cowboy hat, it that's when it looks the best. Um. So, Um, on top of that, I think that is all to do with the customization bit. Um, the next part is customization templates. Once you've made a creature, especially in single player, that you really, really like, I highly suggest that you uh, create a customization template. Um, so you can choose what you want to include in the customization template uh, and then you can enter a template name save and back up I don't know there you go so um, again I highly suggest you go ahead and make a backup sometimes when I do large uh, changes like the entire race update um, your current character save might get um, might get corrupted or something like that and these item templates will always serve as a pretty dedicated backup um so you can go ahead and just create a template and it's as easy as um just hitting e on it it's like a consumable um and it'll load it um to your character obviously this is the same customization thing so um yeah now, um, if I, uh, go in here, just to make sure we covered everything, I think we covered everything in the customization menu, awesome. Um, so, we're going to move on to another menu of here. So when you place down a mirror, one thing that you're going to want to keep in mind is the structure variants. There are many structure variants that you can choose from if you don't like the original. 
so just play around with them find one that you like um and uh yeah have fun uh the next thing you're gonna notice is the reload ce buffs if something weird happens um uh some kind of bug maybe you can't activate your abilities or something weird like that um, a thing that I highly recommend doing is going to a mirror and um, going to a mirror and hitting the reload CE buffs. So if you go ahead and hit that, you have to have it open and then click it and then it'll have this countdown uh, and it'll reload your buff on your character. Um, I don't know why my music decided to go away. Oh, it's just quiet. Alright. So. Um. Now that that is done, the next thing would be the nudge menu. Um. When you go to the nudge menu, you'll be able to nudge your mirror back, forth, left, right. And that's just because the mirrors have different um, models. So you can, as you can see, it's kind of floating. So we can nudge it um back i don't think this one works correctly because it's not player place to have it placed in the editor that's something that only i have to worry about uh it's a cheat if i get that and then cheat g all right now i can show it off right so let's say you have it there and it's like oh man i'd rather have it in front of that stupid bar well you can nudge uh let's go forward there you go so now it's kind of like placed on that bar sort of um but yeah um, since walls have different thickness and their hitbox does not match up with it, um, I allowed you to kind of move it back and forth a bit, um, which I think is super useful. Anyways, um, let's see. I think that is all for the mirror. Now, I don't know if your admin is going to want to place these around, but these are an admin item. Uh, so it's only attainable through uh, spawning it in. Uh, but these are uh, like little, uh, uh, what are they called, race altars that you can go up to and learn a specific race. Um, so the admin will set what races are allowed to use these altars and what race this altar is set to and stuff like that. But if you're allowed to go to it, you can hit E to learn from it, and it just brings up like a race menu just for that specific race. Um, there's, it's not too complicated there. Um, but a thing to note is if your thing has certain required parts or stuff or things that differ from your current race, which you can see if you open your inventory, um, then it will modify your current parts to match said required parts. Um, so, yeah, just keep that in mind whenever you're uh, switching races via these uh, race altars. Um, as for the player side, I think that is all. Um, once again, there's going to be uh, an admin tutorial. Uh, so I highly suggest going and watching that as well. Um, thank you for sticking through the nearly 30 minutes now. Um, I hope that you enjoy cosplay. Uh, once again, please join my Discord if you have any issues or find any bugs. Uh, my Discord is open 24-7, obviously. Uh, and there are plenty of helpful people online at just about all times. Um, link in the description. Anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome day. If you're an admin... Uh, go ahead and head on over to the admin tutorial and uh, see you guys around. Adios.